have been on YouTube for a fairly long time now. Uh, I've seen it go through some evolution, some good, some bad. And recently, we've been plagued by one of those evolutions here. And it goes a little something like this. Now, in the beginning, what would happen is you'd have people put a provocative thumbnail, provocative title to get people to watch their videos. But YouTube did some messing around in the algorithm. And at some point, everybody was telling people to like, comment, and subscribe. A couple of years ago, this changed. I want to say about five years ago, this changed. It evolved. It became like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell. And recently, I don't know if this is another change that YouTube has done, but it's certainly one I'm seeing uh, crop up all over YouTube. It's like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and look at my analytics here. 99% of you people aren't subscribed. What the hell are you doing? Subscribe already. And personally, I'll tell you this, whenever I personally see this, right, I don't want to make you unhappy, right? So six to four, you know what, you're right. I'll do my part six to three. I'll stop watching your videos. And it's really frustrating to hear this in like every other video. So I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, does this even make sense? And no, I don't think it makes sense. And here's why. What I figured we'd do today is we'd come up with uh, an equation, some kind of function uh, that will tell us how many subscribers that we can expect to have. And this is what I came up with, right? We've got some number of subscribers we're gonna do some magic with them we don't know how just yet but we're gonna do some magic on them goes back in becomes the new number of subscribers what could this magic be well you can gain subscribers when you get views or you can lose subscribers just by sort of passive loss so this is what i came up with we've got s of t that's how many subscribers you've got right now. We're gonna have some passive loss of subscribers, P sub T, and we're gonna add new subscribers, N sub T to S sub T. Pretty straightforward, becomes your new S sub T. Let's start with S sub T. What is S sub T? This is your box of subscribers. Now, in your box of subscribers, you're gonna have some number of subscribers that you, you can't lose. Maybe they died. One way or another, this portion I hear, these people cannot unsubscribe. So these are your forever subs. So S sub T is equal to I sub T. That's this number of forever subs plus S sub R of T. These are your real subs. These are the subs that are interacting, commenting, liking, whatever. So what is I sub T? That's going to be equal to your current number of uh, inactive subs and some portion of your new subs are going to become inactive subscribers. This, that's just it, right? We got N equals new subs. Some portion of them is gonna become I sub T. And all this I sub T stuff really does is it sets a lower bound on the number of subscribers that we have. So what is N sub T? Again, this is your number of new subscribers. I imagine N sub T is gonna depend somewhat on the number of views that you get. We'll label that V. Now, not every view is gonna yield a new subscriber. Uh, so there's gonna be some proportion of that S, some scaling factor S. This factor will tell us how many people will subscribe from your views. If S is 0.5, then half of the people who view your videos will subscribe. We need one more thing though. If you're already subscribed, you can't subscribe again. So we need to have this N factor which tells us what percentage of your viewers are not subscribed. It's this is that number that everybody's complaining about. And you can think of it like this, right? We got N. These are going to be our new subscribers. Well, we got a whole box of views. Of this box of views, some percentage of that box of views is going to be new viewers. And some percentage of those new viewers uh, become new subscribers. Now we got to figure out what V sub T is. And the truth of the matter is, I simply don't know. I have no way of knowing. There could be a ton of factors that go into this. But we do kind of want to guess anyway. So here's how I've decided to guess. V sub T is going to be some recommendation factor. R multiplied by S sub T. My basic assumption is that the larger your channel is, the more 
people will see your videos, right? And this R, again, it can be greater, as long as it's greater than zero, it can be anything. So if you get a bigger R value, you get more views for the same S. And those are all of our pieces. So let's go ahead and put them all together. We got S sub T plus one, it's gonna be equal to S sub T. We're gonna subtract passive viewer loss, P sub T, and we're gonna add new subscribers, N sub T. And this is the simplified version that we came up with all the way at the beginning of this video. But let's expand these terms out a bit here. So we got S sub T plus one, it's gonna be equal to S sub T. We're gonna have our passive loss of subscribers and we're gonna have our new subscribers. And this last term here, again, this is this R S sub T, this is again your number of views. Some percentage of your views are gonna be new viewers and some percentage of your new viewers are going to become new subscribers. We didn't forget about the I stuff. Again, the I just sets a lower bound. It's sort of hidden, it's like a little puddle at the bottom of these N and S boxes, which are your forever subs. So yeah, we have a spreadsheet. Got my subscriber equation up here. If you put in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven initial conditions, we can predict how many subscribers you'll have after some number of time steps. Very quickly, the initial conditions are initial subs. This is your starting number of subs. Forever subs, how many of your subscribers will never unsubscribe? Forever subs scale. Uh, what percentage of your new subscribers will become forever subs? Again, these don't matter too, too much. These just set a lower bound on your total sub count. Sub loss scale, this is what percentage of your subscribers unsubscribe passively. Uh, this is your new sub scale S. This is what percentage of new viewers become subscribers. New viewers N. Again, this is, this is that number. This is the number everybody complains about. What percentage of your viewers are not subscribed. Recommendation factor R here, which is again, just how I'm predicting the total number of views that you'll get here. I've set up these initial conditions to kind of predict someone who's trying to hit that 100K milestone. We've got 95,000 subs, 1,000 of those subs are forever subs. 0.01% of their new subscribers will become forever subs. These two, again, they don't matter too, too much. They just set a lower bound for the number of subscribers Sub loss scale, this is their passive subscriber loss, tenth of a percent. New sub scale, one percent of their viewer of their new viewers become subscribers. They got a recommendation factor of 2.2, and they note they got 99% of their viewers are not subscribed. Now they're looking at their chart and they're like, hmm, about four months. Four months looks like I'm gonna hit my 100 k milestone. Is there anything I can do to help speed that up a bit? And they say, you know what? We're gonna do some kind of subscriber drive here. I'm gonna tell people that 99% of my viewers are not subscribed. What are you doing? Join the channel, subscribe. So we wanna get this number of new viewers. We wanna get that down to 80%. And they do this and they notice, wait a minute. Now, now it takes about five months to hit that 100K milestone. What's happening? Okay, okay, maybe 80% is, is, is too, too low. I need 60% I need of my viewers to be subscribed. There we go, and oh no, it's taking even longer. What's happening? Uh, okay, okay, we need 20% we need of our viewers to be new. This line, and you see the line just keeps getting flatter and flatter. So what's happening here? Uh, so basically, these three numbers are what you care about for channel growth, S, N, and R. Of these three numbers, you kind of control only S. If you get better at making videos, you can increase the percentage of people who see your channel, who are not subscribed, who become subscribed. YouTube controls N and R. YouTube controls their recommendation factor, and they control the people who aren't subscribed to your channel that they recommend your video to. And that's it. The thing is, you want all three of these numbers to be as high as possible but you can only personally control one. So if YouTube hands you 99% new viewers, that's a good thing. That's a great thing because that means that most of the people watching your content haven't been exposed to you. So you can work on your side. You can change your new subscriber scale to convert those guys 
into new subscribers. So at the end of the day, the more people who are not subscribed to your channel, this N factor, the more people not subscribed to you watching your content, the better it is for you. So not only do people find your e-begging annoying and cringy, it doesn't even make sense. Mathematically, it doesn't even make sense. So please, just, just stop. Nobody cares. But that's it from me. Thank you for watching.